And the stage is now set for the appearance of our first soloist from within the orchestra on this evening's program, Philip Smith, who joined the New York Philharmonic in October 1978 as co-principal trumpet and at the start of the 1988-89 season became the principal trumpet soloist of the New York Philharmonic. And with his colleagues of the orchestra, Philip Smith will perform the concerto for trumpet and orchestra in E-flat major by Haydn.
Smith, the principal trumpet soloist of the New York Philharmonic, has performed the trumpet concerto in E-flat major by Haydn, with colleagues from the New York Philharmonic, Zubin Mehta, conducting on this live from Lincoln Center telecast. It took the invention of the long playing record to bring Haydn's trumpet concerto to records in its entirety. Until 1948, only the second and third movements of the Haydn Trumpet Concerto had been recorded. But once the long playing record came into existence, recordings of the complete work proliferated. 
And Philip Smith has been a member of the New York Philharmonic since October 1978 and its principal trumpet soloist since the beginning of last season. Here he is, returning with Zubin Mehta, the Philharmonic's music director. In just a few moments, this five-star evening of the New York Philharmonic will continue after a change in the stage seating, and it will continue with a work that spotlights the principal clarinetist of the New York Philharmonic, Stanley Drucker, who will perform the concertino by Weber. Now, once again, let's go backstage to our host, Hugh Downs. Bill Smith, what a tour de force. Thank you. Magnificent sound. Thank you. Thank you. I understand you, as a solo performer in this, you had to help write it, really, because you wrote the cadenzas. Uh, I wrote the cadenzas, yeah. Uh, yes. uh, Haydn's notation was not complete on, on all of this. Well, no, no, I wouldn't presume that. I would, <laughs> I would presume that Haydn was very complete. I just said the opportunity provides itself in a cadenza for some, uh, in the concerto for some cadenzas. To do, do your own. And many do that. And I what do you use as a guide to carry out what you believe is the composer's intention? in writing a cadenza? Well, first of all, you, you do look at the harmonics that he uses. Uh, you try to keep some of the same figures in the cadenza. You try not to have the cadenza sound like it was written by George that's Gershwin. Yeah, that's or, right. You, know, you try to keep the same style of it there, right. and uh, which I tried a little bit. In the... You've played this, I know, with, with other orchestras. You've played it many times. But what, what is the difference between playing it as a guest with another orchestra and playing it with your own New York Philharmonic? Is it, is it for easier me, or tougher? For me, it's a relief because uh, when I come here with the Philharmonic, I know the sounds that I'm going to hear behind me. I know that they're all pushing for me, and it's just, it, you know it's going to be good. It must be gratifying. Yeah. The audience loved it, and I loved hearing it. Oh, thank you. It's a, it's thank a, it's it's a great, great sound indeed. Thank you. Thank good you. luck, and thank you for Thanks. chatting with me. Sure, no problem. Thank you. Back.